Hi, my name is Victoria Modesta, and I'm a bionic performance artist and a creative director. And I'm here in Los Angeles at the 3D Live and Capture Studio. This year, DTC is free and available to everyone. And the program is just about as interesting to artists as it is to engineers. And here's why. In all of digital arts, the aesthetic and the feel of artists using deep learning has become pretty well known over the years. In music, sampling has changed music before, about once every decade. But neural networks are bigger, more intelligent samplers, and artists are discovering that they're whole new instruments. So we'll have never before heard sound that's a company that creates style transfer for musical instruments. And we'll have Holly Herdman who pushes the craft of composing with deep learning showing work here. There's also a hacker duo called Databots. If you go to their YouTube, you'll see they made infinite streams, death metal and math rock. Now Takui, a playful Japanese musician, made a neural beat box buddy. You'll give it a beat and it improvises with you. But in visual arts, deep learning is also becoming famous and important, not just a novelty. We'll have artists like Helena Sarin and Sophia Crespo who have been using the mastery AI has with organic forms like vegetation and rocks. And Pinda van Armen is going to show paintings his robots draw. Haki Nagano and Kyle McDonald, who both work with generating human faces, will chat about how AI can capture and modify our appearance. So if you're an artist who wants to know more about AI or an engineer and you're curious what artists see in machine learning, you can check out the AI art gallery and get playlists for both technical art and conceptual talks. On Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific, Holly Hernan, Hota Mann, and Databots will host a live panel where you can ask them questions about deep learning. I'm really excited about that one. I'll see you there.